This is a mechanical engineering design project for North Dakota State University. This project was to design a 3D printing system for the production of thermochemical adsorption systems utilizing hygroscopic salts to store energy. Manufacturing salt parts using 3D printing allows for the rapid prototyping of complex geometries which help increase the efficiency of the adsorption system. To accomplish this, the team re researched different 3D printing methods and landed on a method called binder jetting. In this process, a powder is stored in two moving cylinders. The powder then has a binder applied as shown in this video. In our case, the binder is applied using a syringe and lure lock needle. The powder and binder selected to create our thermochemical adsorption system are magnesium sulfate, MgSO4, and PVA polyvinyl alcohol. The PVA was created using a concentrated PVA powder and distilled water as shown here. This allowed for the production and use of different percent PVAs. Our project was designed in Autodesk Inventor Professional, allowing the team to create moving models to ensure each component will fit together and have their desired range of motion. This also allowed the team to design for manufacturability and create a plan for the production of the 3D printing system. With our plan in place, many of the components were 3D printed using a material called ASA. This material was chosen for its UV resistance, as in the future, a UV curable binder might be utilized. Each subassembly of the printer was then built, allowing us to ensure each subassembly worked before it was installed with one another. With everything installed together, the team began testing how the subassemblies worked with each other. And this video shows how the storage cylinder raises and the printing cylinder lowers, while at the same time, a motorized roller moves the powder to the printing cylinder. This motorized roller is required to create a smooth surface to print on and pack the powder down to ensure part strength. Because the powder being used is hygroscopic, that an airtight enclosure that is filled with a dry gas is needed. As shown here, this is achieved by using nitrogen and a PID controlled system to reach our desired relative humidity of 10%. The nitrogen enters the enclosure at the bottom through two mufflers, ensuring the moving air does not disturb the magnesium sulfate MgSO4 as it is being printed. The extra gas inside the enclosure then moves up and leaves through a pressure relief valve at the top. Next to the pressure relief valve is our hygrometer that monitors the moisture level within the enclosure. This moisture level is then sent to our control system that is flow controlled and turns on and off a solenoid controlling the flow of nitrogen in the enclosure. From here, test prints were done to dial in printer settings. These printer settings consist of printer speed, percent PVA binder, and the amount of binder being applied. Thanks to our local sponsor, Lulzbot 3D Printing, for the help in production of the 3D printer components.